And the next day, uh, they loaded us onto Dakota aircraft and flew us to Rangoon. Mm. Unfortunately, at least one of the planes on this run crashed and people were killed on the way home, which was very unfortunate. Oh, but we were all right. We yes. got to Rangoon yes. and uh, they uh, put us into a sort of hospital and uh, gave us a quick check over. And uh, the funny thing was, as we, as we got off the, uh, off the train, off the plane, I mean, they, uh, uh, I, I had a battered suitcase with my few possessions in and a nurse came and took it away from me and I sort of had a little struggle with her. I didn't want a woman carrying my kit, but she persisted and they took us into this uh, hangar where there were long tables with white tablecloths on and plates of bread and butter and cups of tea and some of the soldiers were so overcome by this they burst into tears mm. Mm. just the sight of something normal yeah. which we hadn't seen for all those years yeah. the bread and butter yeah. and real tea yeah. before that we drank we drank Bold River water in a dirty mug, yes. as that was our drink. Mm. And uh, then they loaded us onto ships. Um, at the end of um, September, that's right. And we stopped at uh, Colombo on the way home. Yes where uh, where uh, the ship that we were on had all prisoners of war and a few army nurses and a few civilians going yes. home yes. but there were mainly uh, mainly prisoners of war right yeah and we stopped at Colombo where uh, a crowd of uh, wrens took the officers off to their club Mm. and gave us tea mm. they entertained us very nicely and we were all a bit apprehensive we hadn't seen women for no. uh, uh, white women for all those years mm. and uh, uh, October the 22nd 1945 we docked at Southampton and that was it. What was that like? Five years almost after I'd left yes. Britain, I was back yeah. again. What did it feel like when you steamed up the Solent? Uh, it was uh, it was a wonderful feeling, you know, yeah. to be home. Um, we were the umpteenth ship with prisoners on board to arrive home. Mm. The first ship arrived a week or so before Liverpool. Mm where to our heroes welcome mm. they lined the streets the streets of liverpool were lined with civilians mm. and as the coaches with the soldiers on board went past the the girls rushed forward and pulled them off the coaches and kissed mm. them and really made such a fuss of them mm. by the time we got to uh, southampton we were already old old news right and I think all we got was the deputy mayor ah. greeting us, uh -huh. uh, but I couldn't have cared less. No. All I wanted was the telephone, and I was number two to reach the telephone oh, yeah. right. to phone my family. Lovely.